right, so um, I'm getting a little bit peeved right now about this thing with this keeping families together and how it's been getting misconstrued through media. And so I found this segment from a neutral source, CBS, and let's listen to what they say for a second. Tolerance approach. After parents are subject to criminal proceedings, minors are reclassified as unaccompanied alien children. 72 hours is the maximum holding time until they are placed in one of approximately 100 shelters. The goal is placement with a family member who's already living in the U.S. If a parent seeking a claim of asylum is denied... Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Is what does that say right there? Okay. So... This is what's happening, and I heard about a case about this, and I just wanted to share this with you guys, so, you know, there's a lot of people really upset about this, okay, and so what's happening is there are people who are going across the border, coming to the U.S., they get busted, okay, because they came illegally, ran with their kids across the border, and they claim asylum, Okay, and let me tell you about one of the cases I heard about. Uh, lady was claiming asylum because uh, she was from like El Salvador or it was uh, oh, one of those countries down there. I can't remember. It was either El Salvador or um, or one of the one of the countries. I, I can't remember exactly which one, but it wasn't Mexico. And she said that. Um, that she was claiming asylum because she got a divorce and she thought her husband would, if she went back to her country, that her husband would kill her. Okay. Couldn't you find another place in your country where your husband's not going to kill you? I mean, come on. It's got to be a pretty big country. There's got to be a lot of real estate down there where you could be. But what's happening is these people are claiming asylum, so they're being separated from their kids. Now, do they have a choice not to claim asylum? Yes, they do. They have a choice. So what's happening is they're choosing asylum and to be separated from their kids over doing the right thing, which is, no, I could go back to my country and I could be with my child today. And everything's good. So it's just crazy how this has become a media nightmare. You know, it's just become such a thing that, you know, it's something that the government's doing. I'm not really a Trump fan, okay? But this is just stretched out of control. This is not being explained correctly. So when you hear this about people being separated from their families, listen to what I'm saying Take a look at it with a little more of a, you know, a little more in depth and look at the realness of really what's happening and the truth, not what you're hearing on the media. Talk to you in the next video.